Hey guys, Ethan Studios here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the LEGO Ninjago Sons of Garmadon Ninja Nightcrawler. This is set 70641, has 552 pieces, and retails for $40. First, let's take a look at the minifigures. Here is the Sons of Garmadon version of Lloyd, and this is a pretty nice looking minifigure. I love all of the green on him. It's definitely a design change. We've had a lot of the black lately, so it's nice to see them mixing things up, especially for this uh, reboot, as you will. Um, he has the Ninjago movie face, uh, which is a bit unfortunate. I would have preferred if they had customized the faces to be a little bit more accurate to the show, as we have seen in the preview clip. Um, very nice torso printing. Goes on to the legs um, on the back. We just see the same symbol that he's had multiple times on the back of his suit. And then an alternate face. This is Nia and a nice minifigure here. I really like the gunmetal gray for the whole suit this time. I think they really did a good job with that. New spear weapon for her. Different from the one she had in the Lego Ninjaga movie. Um, some great torso printing. I like the mixture of the light blue. Um, we get, we do, unfortunately, get the same Ninjaga movie face that we had before. Um, if we do take off this new skirt piece, which came in the Ninjaga movie sets as well, you can see she has some very nice leg printing, and it even goes on to her feet as well. I'm glad they included that. I appreciate it. Um, if we look on the back, she does have this katana sword holder. Take that off. There is more torso printing on the back. And then another thing I forgot to address with the Lloyd minifigure over here, he does not actually come with one of these new katana sword holders, which is very unfortunate. This is Ultraviolet, and this is my first look at one of the 2018 Ninjago Sons of Garmadon bad guy minifigures, and I think this is a pretty solid looking minifigure. Uh, she has this weird looking uh, purple-ish, pinkish mace. Um, inter interested to see how they use that in the show. She is sporting one of the new Oni masks, which looks very nice. This is one of the three variants. It is just clipped onto this helmet piece, and it can be lifted up like that to reveal her face print. Very interesting face here. I'm interested to see how they use that in the show. We'll just have to see. New, uh, armor piece. It's kind of like boulders. Look on the back. There is a clip for it, which is nice. Um, very nice torso printing very interesting mixture of the purple and gray continue operation of the printing onto the legs and then you also do get some foot printing and on the back get some more of the torso here is the actual ninja nightcrawler and this is actually much larger than i expected it to be um the 552 piece count does contribute to it a lot it is a very mass build it uses up a lot of pieces in building it but i think they did a good job with conserving space and actually making it a large build if you take a look at the front it looks very nice lots of stickers on this um cockpit piece if you lift it up you can see lloyd inside and if you take him out you can see that there is some ugly detailing here on the back but there is a steering wheel and a control panel right there some very nice side detailing. This sticker does contribute to a lot. And if you see on the side here, we have a uh, Gatling gun stud launcher. So to activate that, you take it from the top here, and you push this, which lifts all of this up. And what you gotta do is once you push it, you just take this, and you turn it, and that's how it shoots all of them off. Goodbye to all those studs. Here's a better look at how this mechanism works. You just push this, and this all comes up like that. Very big fan of these green dragon stickers here. Those are very cool looking. Um, I'm not a big fan of this right here. This can be lifted up to kind of reveal it more. You just push down on that. This is very, not very out of place, this tan here. Um, I would have appreciated if they built something uh, to cover it up. Or maybe made even made this uh, green color here. Not sure what they're thinking with that. Looking around the back, you do have these two golden blades, which can be positioned however you like. And then the car itself rolls very nicely. Good for play. The set also includes a single vehicle for the bad guy, Ultraviolet. Very small bike, nothing much on it. You do have two of these uh, new red katanas, which look very nice. They kind of serve as a kickstand for the bike. In the front, there is also a single sticker. All in all, I think this is a very nice set, especially considering the generous 552 pieces included. 
Um, the only thing, only complaints I have with the set is this tan piece up top, and the inclusion of only three minifigures. I think at the $40 price point, I'd like to see four minifigures, and maybe an extra build for the bad guy. But I think the uh, capacity of the Ninja Nightcrawler definitely makes up for it. It's a very large vehicle, much larger than I expected. So yeah, that's what I think of the set. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.